This freaking tablet never ceases to make me angry. Freaking low battery ends your video. And you guys know, for those of you who watched um, the capacitors video, taking apart and playing with capacitors, those who watched that video, you guys understand how you guys understand how much I hate and why I hate making part twos. I hate making videos that have a part one and a part two because nobody ever watches both the parts. Like, part two will have, like, a hundred views, and part one will have, like, twenty. And it's just, guys, come on. Those watching part two right now, go watch part one right now. If you haven't watched part one yet. If you've already watched part one, thank you. You're not making me angry, thank you. hate making part twos. Yeah, so if, so if you're one of those rude ones who didn't watch part one, then this device is really, oh, well, then again, I am just hooking right, oh, hooking it right back up. So this device plays, you know what? No, I'm not even going to explain it. Frick that crap, man. Anyway, this is really loud. Well, it's supposed to be. Oh. Freaking relay disconnected. There we go. Now it's working. So yeah, and what I wanted to do was hook it up to a little light instead of a speaker. This won't make sense if you haven't watched part one. Yeah. Excuse me, right. So I stick one wire into that hole. And I stick the other wire into the other hole. Yeah, no, this tablet really needs to give you a freaking warning before it cancels your video from from low battery. Let's just say battery is at six percent, and. Then you can plug in your charger before it cancels your video. Because it cancels your video at 5%. And why is this wire not going in there? How small does that need to freaking be? There we go, finally. Okay. Relay's making some weird noises. That's weird. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the lights flash at an interesting rate. A rate that I would really love to see in slow-mo. But sadly, I can't. It's not going at exactly 120 hertz. That's, that's freaking coolness. <laughs> I'm flickering, that looks neat. Oh, by the way, that buzzing is coming from the relay. But since the speaker was so loud when I had it hooked up, you could not hear the relay. The speaker completely drowned it out. Yeah, that looks really freaking cool. Alright, now, unplug, unplug, now I'm gonna hook it up 
to a motor. That in there. It vibrates. <laughs> All right, and that's that. <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys, uh, I'm pretty sure I have had this power supply in a video before, but I honestly cannot remember. But if I did, then I'm going to show you guys what I have done to it. I have modified it a little bit other than putting all these plugs on so i just got this i just recently got this package of um little wire connectors get off of the relay come on <laughs> mm, here we go I got these little plugs. So now, there's no more twisting the wires together. There's no more bearing them. There's no more breaking them. You just got a freaking... Click. And there we go. And it stays in there. You press this little button here and you pull. And there we go. It comes right out. <laughs> That's so much better. So yeah, I've put all these little plugs onto all my power supplies. Yeah. Excuse me. And I've got three new power supplies. And, well, this isn't really a power supply anymore. This is just a rectifier board now. So it's not attached, like, to a power supply. It's, it's external. It's removable. So, this is your AC input. Your AC current goes in there, and this is your AC output. This the so your AC input and your AC output are not different at all. The only difference is that now you have switches. You're able to turn it on and off now. But then you've got your DC output. It's rectified, so it goes through all this wiring here, and it goes through the rectifier. There's the diode bridge here. That black square. That black rectangle. Why did I say it like that? That black rectangle. Black, for frick's sake, black rectangle. There we go. And this black and gray cylinder, which is a capacitor, a crapacitor. <laughs> and yeah, it goes through that rectifier. And yeah, that. Oh, by the way, that black rectangle is a uh, is a um diode bridge. So yeah, you got your DC output, your AC output, and your AC input. Why did I make this removable? Because now, I have two AC power supplies. So, I've got the original one that it was originally attached to. Which is this black wired one. 9 volts AC, 200 milliamps. And those wires used to be just connected right in there. Th those two black wires there, and these two black wires were the same wire, they were connected. Then I cut them, and I put these little plugs on. And I'm able to plug it in there, or unplug it, and plug in my high current AC power. This is still 9 volts AC, but it's 780 milliamps instead of 200. That's way more. And, you can probably tell by the design, Check that out. That's not new. <laughs> that was from decades ago. This is old. This. Yeah, it's an AC power supply. And it's... It was for... 
a telephone. No, not a phone. Like, a phone. <laughs> the ones that go ding with the mechanical keypad, and the one you take off of the thing and put up on your ear, the one with the wire on it. <laughs> it was for one of those. And, yeah. This one is 780 um, milliamps. And this little tiny black one, which was for a walkie-talkie charger, is only 200 milliamps. Milliamps are not very much current, <laughs> but the difference between 200 and 780 is big. Most phone chargers are either 1 or 2 amps. Not milliamps, but amps. 1 amp is 1,000 milliamps. Mm, most phone chargers are 1,000 or 2,000 uh, milliamps. And yeah, so I've got my high power, my low power AC 9 volt, and my high power AC 9 volt, and they can both run on this. So I made it removable, so I can attach whichever one I want to use onto it. I use the high power one for stuff like motors. And I use the low power one for stuff like lights, <laughs> or cooling fans. I put plugs on almost all of my big external components. I put plugs. Onto my cooling fans. Onto this motor. Onto this light strip. And yeah, well, it's not really a light strip, but, you know. <laughs> four lights on a little circuit board. I'm really sorry, you probably want Pepsi now. <laughs> but yeah, so with this. That's a female plug, that's called. This is a male plug. You can tell which one's a female and a male, because a male has the two metal pieces sticking out in there, and the female just has two holes. Click, and there we go. Now it's hooked up onto the low power. So, all of the outputs are males that I made. You can, you, you, ugh, you don't need to hook it up that way. If you're hooking up, if you're hooking up little plugs, it doesn't matter which one's which, but I like it to be outputs are male and inputs are female. So this is the output of this power supply. So, it's a male. And you can plug it into the input, the female, of this rectifier. And we've got males on the outputs. AC output, DC output. And we've got females on my components. <laughs> it's just like that, so with these, you don't exactly need to have that rectifier on. You can just plug stuff right into it, just like that, and it works. I just plugged the motor into it, so it didn't really do anything, it just kind of went This will, this will do something. <laughs> Four lead nuggets. And yeah. But it's much more convenient using plugging it into this because this has switches. So you can have it on or off or on or off. On, off, on, off, on, off. Or on, off, on, off. And yeah, it's got a button and a switch. So it's just more convenient to use this. Even if you just even if you don't even want to rectify it. And it's just more convenient to use this because it's got on-off switches and this doesn't. So, yeah. One of my cooling fans here, it's exactly the same as this one. Um, one of the little blades broke. So now it still works, it's just... vibrate <laughs> These, I got out of a heater. This is a thermostat. So this is like a relay. But, it turns on when it gets to a certain temperature. I'm pretty sure it does say the temperature on it, but... Well, it says 40 on it. And, does that mean 40 degrees Celsius is when it turns on? I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. But, yeah. So I'm just gonna go grab a little lighter here. Alright, I've gotten a lighter. This is a jet lighter. If you notice, when I turned that on, I faced it up. 
I'm on a freaking bed. If I aimed that down and pulled the trigger, this house is going up. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to aim this upwards when I use it here. And, I'm just not going to hold this and blast it with that thing. I'm going to hold it with some pliers. Needle nose pliers. I just heard it go tick. So yeah, you get it hot, it'll go tick and turn on, like a relay. And then, after a long time, it'll go tick and turn off. I will speed that up. My battery's at 17% now, that's good. There we go. Why was that so difficult? It's not usually that hard to take the charger out of that. Now I'm gonna go take this, then I'm gonna put it on some ice in the freezer. Let me see if you guys can hear the click. My tablet is in the freezer right now. And there it went, it went tick and turned off. Ugh. I don't know why I close it like that, but I do. I Every time I close this, I... <laughs> But yeah, that's a thermostat. I've got two of these. This little teeny tiny little thermostat. I thought it was a thermistor. What is a thermistor? It's a res a thermal resistor. <laughs> it's a resistor, and if I remember correctly, the resistance gets lower when it gets hotter. And that's just a thermostat, which is a thermal relay. Instead of a thermal resistor, it's a thermal relay. It turns, it doesn't have... It doesn't change resistance, it's just on or off. It's binary. Instead of, um... Instead of, uh... Variable. What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word? What is the word? Mm hmm... Proportional! That's it. I think. I think that's the correct word. Not too sure though at all. But yeah. It's just, it's just binary, it's on or off, when a thermistor is, has infinite values. And yeah. Oh. So yeah, I got three new power supplies. One of those was that old, um, phone adapter. From gosh knows how long ago. Yes, I know my battery's low. Yeah, a battery low warning at 15% is okay. But... It lasts a while after that, and it doesn't give you a single warning until it's too late after that. This is another one. It looks very, very similar. It's just smaller. This was the adapter for my baby monitor back 14, year, 14 15 years ago. Back when I was, like, less than, less than or equal to one year old. This was the... This was the adapter for one of my baby monitors, and yeah, it looks very similar. This one has DC output, so it's got a rectifier in it. 9 volts, 200 milliamps. So it's just like the little black one out there, but DC instead of AC. This one, it's loud. When you plug it in and it goes bzzz. That's okay, that's not a bad sign. That doesn't mean it's broken or something's going wrong in there, no. The little transformer in there is just kind of loose a little bit, and since transformers vibrate a little bit when they go, it's just kind of like repeatedly hitting a little piece of plastic in there. And it's just going bzzz. This big one here does go bzzz as well, just very, very, very quiet. Not sure if you could hear it. But yeah, I'm gonna plug this little one in. Little one. It's loud. I can hear it very, very well from right here. And this one. It's got one of those ends. That, that big one there did have one of those ends, but it got chewed off by a critter. By a critter, 
by a critter, I mean a mouse or a rat. They're in, they're very infested in this house. They're all through the walls and everything. They've chewed up a lot of wires of mine. <laughs> and they've chewed up a lot of crap in the walls. And yeah, my dad's definitely gonna renovate this place soon once he's got enough money. Plug this in. I just found these yesterday, I think. Yes, yesterday. And, yeah, and I just found this. And I plugged it in and it went bzzz, And I was like, oh, crap. And I unplugged it. Because <laughs> I didn't know what that was. Oh, frick, is it short-circuiting in there? But, then I plugged it in again. It still went bzzz, But, the lights weren't flickering. Nothing was going on. No, it's just, it, it's, oh, it works fine. It's just a little loud. <laughs> it's just a little bit loud. It's just how it is. This one's, as you, as you know, it's also quite an old one. <laughs> it's older than me. And I'm 15, and I'm turning 16 in October. This one, again, it looks very similar. This one's also a phone one, just like the big one out there, but this one is a DC output, 9 volts, 350 milliamps, so a little bit more than the black one out there, a little bit more than that white one in there, the baby monitor one. Yeah, these all work good. This one does not, um, this one doesn't make a noise. Yeah. Ah, oh, frick. And, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there's another power supply in here. It's another adapter, like this. Six volts. 300 milliamps. Wait. Yeah, 300. I thought that said 500 for a minute there, but no, it's 300. And, yeah. Six volts DC. This one was... Whoa, I almost fell. This one is the charger for something. <laughs> I'm not too sure what. But yeah, I found that black one in there. Um, on the ground here, underneath something. And I found those three white ones in a box upstairs. Yeah, there's some power supplies. Goodbye.